singer-songwriter Josh Groban's back on the stage with his portrayal of the Demon Barber of Fleet Street in this year's revival of Stephen Sondheim's Sweeney Todd. His performance was just grisly enough to send him off with his second Tony nomination for Best Leading Actor in a Musical. My right arm is complete! I never leave home without one. <laughs> In fact, Sweeney Todd carved out eight nominations, including one for Best Musical Revival and another nod for previous Tony winner, Anna Lee Ashford. Did you come in for a pie, sir? On the top, she's just a bubbling, bubbling, bubbling little pot of magic, and underneath, yeah. it's a stew that's extremely complicated. Ashford is nominated for Best Leading Actress in a Musical for her portrayal of Mrs. Lovett, a baker with a rather gruesome recipe book. But all eyes might be on Victoria Clark for that same Tony. After a brief hiatus from Broadway, Clark is back in the new musical, Kimberly Akimbo, another strong contender for best new musical. But Tony Night isn't just about the music. What's going on? Sit down. This will take a while. Oscar winner Jessica Chastain could take home her first Tony for Best Leading Actress in a Play for the role of Nora Helmer in Henrik Ibsen's A Doll's House. Chastain has some stiff competition, including six-time Tony winner Audra McDonald in Ohio State Murders, and Jodie Comer now appearing in Prima Facie. I won't cry, I won't. Ladies and gentlemen, McFarland. And while you might remember Sean Hayes from TV's Will and Grace. It's hard to break out of the thing that people see you as that you became famous for. But then, you know, if, if we're not scaring ourselves as actors, what are we doing? And what better way to scare yourself than to play the heartbreaking and complicated character Oscar Levant, which could bring Hayes his first Tony win for Good Night Oscar. What the hell is that, huh? Hayes also faces strong competition, including from Wendell Pierce, for his groundbreaking performance as Willie Loman in Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, and Corey Hawkins in Top Dog, Underdog. But still going strong and sure to set the Tony stage ablaze tonight is the new musical, Some Like It Hot. Some Like It Hot and That Ain't Bad. Adapted from the 1959 film of the same name, starring Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon and Marilyn Monroe. Can't remind all the time, never blue. The new musical comes in with the top number of nominations this year, a whopping 13. <laughs> Christian Borel and J. Harrison G. take on the roles that Curtis and Lemmon made famous in the film and they're up against each other for best leading actor in a musical. When you're coming into work every day, do you still get that <gasps> seeing the marquee? It doesn't get old. Yeah, no. The, opening the stage door never gets old. To all the contenders at tonight's Tony Awards, we say break a leg. Break a leg.